We're back, citizens of Super Earth, with a brand new video on Helldivers 2. We have a brand new major order, which is absolutely nuts. A brand new personal order. And we got some cool looking leaks coming to the game, plus more. So like and subscribe and hit that ding dong bell for the future spreading of democracy. We succeeded in the major order, divers, to have Marfak under our control. And the brand new major order has been released. This one is going to be a fun one, I can tell you that for sure, divers. We need to kill 2 billion bugs. 2 billion. That's billion with a B. This is going to be so much fun, and it will also show how many bugs do die in a day. We do have 5.5 days to complete this as well, divers. But at this moment in time, since the launch of Helldivers 2, we have killed over 18 billion bugs so a further two billion should be a cakewalk the major order reads the automaton invasion has slowed thanks to valiant defense efforts we must take this chance to refill our e710 reserves in order to stage a counteroffensive. and then obviously they give us the two billion bug order so get to killing those wretched bug divers and we can spread more democracy. We also have a brand new daily order, which requires us to kill 25 hunters, which I'm going to have a lot of pleasure in, as the hunters and the stalkers are my most hated enemy on this game. I just cannot stand them. You're trying to run, you reload your weapons, and they flick their nasty little tongues at you, and you're instantly slowed. I just hate them, and now I'm going to take pleasure in doing this daily order. Before we move on to the leaks, Arrowhead Community Manager Twinbeard answered fans' questions over the last couple of days on Discord regarding if we will ever see any melee weapons in the game. I've always been a fan of having these type of weapons in a shooter, either knives, batons, or swords, but obviously, in Helldivers 2, you need to stick to a certain aesthetic, which is exactly what Twinbee had answered with. Melee weapons could be plausible. Lightsabers from Star Wars would not. We don't want to be Fortnite. This is actually a fantastic answer, as on Reddit, the Discord, and various websites, some players want to see crossovers from other brands. But that isn't what Helldivers 2 is. In a game like Warzone, Fortnite, Apex, having those crossovers work for them, but those games have become bigger than their actual campaign modes, which with Fortnite is always some big event now with real world celebrities like Eminem or other people like him. We have seen so many easter eggs in this game though which do point to other media, but that's all that they are, easter eggs, to make the diver go Oh wow, look at this, it's so and so. But it's great to see that Arrowhead are not going to stray from their core ideals. But having crossovers though, it could be, if done correctly, it could be fun. But Johan, the CEO, he actually replied to someone back in February with the following. Why is it cosmetic only? Would you want the STA-52 to be accurately portrayed? We'll see if we do crossovers. Which, that is just huge, obviously, because we see seeing now the CEO back then is like, you know what, if crossovers happen, they happen for a certain thing. And it mostly will be with, like, certain actual Sony-owned IPs, like Killzone. But, this was posted on the Reddit a couple of months ago, and he actually replied to someone again, saying, Very is an overstatement. Could be fun, but first, we are doing the stuff we have planned and we will see so fingers crossed i suppose to see any actual sony ip brands making an appearance in helldivers 2. having melee weapons in helldivers 2 should fit the look so we've seen the likes of shovels in games where we've actually seen one in is buried in the head of an automaton swords are a little too much i think though but batons or knives i do think would work but the one of the main questions surrounding this is, would you have a brand new slot for this weapon, or would you change your sidearm for it? The pistol and the machine pistol of Save My Ass 
I don't know how many times, and I don't know if I could give up that slot for a knife or a baton. Moving on now, divers, we have the leaks. So major spoiler warning here. If you don't want to be spoiled, skip to this time on screen now. The first leak we're going to look at is the Hive Buster, which will be a bug exclusive objective. According to the leaker, this text is with it. Your team will be told to locate a nearby underground hive core. Upon finding the hive core, you will call down a hive buster. You must defend the hive buster while it drills into the hive core. Once drilled into the hive core, the hive buster will deliver a nuclear payload capable of blasting that hive core into oblivion. That just sounds amazing. But speculation is that this will have something to do with the Hive Lord from the first game, which quite a few people have told me in the comments on social media, and have also received some pictures of it. And if true, and if this creature is coming to the game, oof, I cannot wait for it. They just look incredible. I've also been looking at videos on YouTube about the first game with this Hive Lord, and they just look absolutely terrifying, but they also look very, very fun to fight. Our last leak for today is a fully textured Illuminate Warp Gate. This will be appearing in game when the Illuminate faction starts to fight us. It does give me strong Stargate feels with the blue wave type in the middle, which I assume these would be like the Fabricators where they will appear when waves of the Illuminate start to come into the mission and fight us. It'd be cool if the center of these do have some cool effect like the wave I mentioned, or kind of like the actual Stargate, where it looks like water, but obviously it's not. I think that would be absolutely amazing. So let me know what you think about these down below, my fellow Helldivers, and let's keep spreading democracy.